Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. Very quiet as I tried to not wake up anyone else in the house because I can only record this for late at night. Yeah. So let's get into it, huh? It's the pre-anniversary campaign over here in the English side. So, of course, we're going to be preparing for the fifth year anniversary and what better way to prepare than by giving a whole bunch of banners, <laughs> I guess. And also hunting quests here, which is actually very important for grinding stuff. So let's actually go into the banner. Here's the banner. Um, it has Ivan. It's got Napoleon. It's got Europa. It's got Janako. It's got Sun Zhu. It has a very, um, very group of characters that are probably very niche, but the people who really like them really badly would want to summon for them. My general advice is don't summon on this unless you are absolutely a, actually the the one bummer here is actually Ivan the Terrible because Ivan doesn't get rerun that much. He does get a rerun next year, but in terms of this year, um, yeah, it's, he he doesn't get rerun a whole bunch. I don't know why. I think it's because he's story locked. I think he has the same problem as in most things, is that he's... No, he's not even story locked, he's limited. Um, that's weird. Either way, Ivan doesn't get rerun a whole bunch. Napoleon gets... Um, Napoleon, Europa, and Janaka all have the benefit of being free. Um, not free SSRs. They're on the free ticket because they are not limited. And also, in theory, you'll be able to pull any of them at any given time. So really not a lot of reasons to be summoning. Uh, also there is Kanias on here, but Kanias is going to be in a better banner later on, so don't summon. Asaplacius actually is very good, and to get him in general would be nice. And same thing goes for Antonio and Red Hair to be honest, but... I th think these guys will show up in better banners in the future, so don't do it. Um, other than that, here's a login bonus where these event craft substances can be attained during specific time frames. So from the start, Singularity F, Destined to Clash, the Dragon, the Dragon Swordsman, and the Singing Spear, the Shouting Spear. Between these days, 13th to the 18th, to the 18th, 18th to the 23rd, 23rd to the 28th, 28th to the 3rd of... Basically, this is the start of anniversary. <laughs> if you ever needed proof, hey, when does anniversary start? That's when this campaign ends. So I hear this ease. Very nice. Very nice. Damn, he's really up close. I've also never noticed the boob window on here before. Damn, speaking of boob window. This is important. Jesus fucking Christ. Those are huge. Right? Oh, that's... <laughs> I was like, who fucking drew Medusa? Such a rocking pair, and it's fucking Rida, the artist behind Shudin and <laughs> Raiko, and no bunch of hentai as well. Good job, I approve. Anyway, the other thing that is on here is Pixar Wiki, that's right. Um, Grogu is coming to Hunting Quest. No, the Hunting Quest. So, the Hunting Quest are a good way to just kind of filler kill time um here are the drops that are expected it could change chances are it won't change some people think it might change so that you can get access to new material for because uh, some of the units with a pen skills need new material and we don't really have access to that um so it could be a good way of showing it off like that but i doubt it it'd be nice for some of them if they could replace some of the old material like obviously seashells and dragon fangs those are nice Bullet shells and seed shell. Actually, this is just probably just bullet shells. Bullet shell, gunpowder, eh. I'm kind of eh on it. The crown of silver. I think this is actually new, so yes. That, that's a good one. Pride, like, no. I don't need any bloodstone tier. <laughs> so this could be replaced with newer material. Spriggan's. Spriggan root, actually. Eh. There is a phoenix feather, so I'll. For the phoenix feather, because you do need a lot of these, I'll say. Okay, in my book. This final one. This is the one I'm going to be grinding the most. And I'm going to be actually doing a heap amount of grinding. 
is this Genesis egg. Now the Genesis egg, if you didn't know this, is a brand new item that was added in Yuga. And a lot of servants need it. I'm about to show you the list of servants that are going to use it. So if you don't want to know the list of servants that are using it, which is stupid, never mind. Let's go in here. <laughs> I can only go so far with my spoilers. So, the append skills for Dantes, he needs 45 of them. For Karen, 45, 45, 45, 15, 36, 21, 27. And those aren't even units that actually use them for skills. In terms of units that use them for skills, like Ruler uh, Summer Da Vinci over here, she uses 36 of the damn things. Let's go down to Castoria. 33 of them. And I think that's per skill, actually. That's not per skill. It's the when you factor in all of them. Yeah. 3 and 8. 33 for her. And then Tamamo. 30. Morgan, 5. Some of these other units, even for costumes, 5. But yeah, you can see when we, 33 is a lot to have for fully doing the skills. Um, regular Da Vinci needs 30 of them. Like, the XA needs 30 of them. I actually think I need, I need them besides just, I don't need it only for Castoria. There's actually a lot of them that I need it for. I think Voyager uses them as well. No, I'm thinking of the other thing. Voyager uses the Idrisil seals or something, seeds. Uh, oh, Space Star. She uses 45 of the damn things. 45! And she's one of the best um, art sloopers in the games as well. In general, just pure strong. No, there it is. There's Voyager. 45 of the fucking things. Between Voyager, Ishtar, and Abby over here in the summer. Or Abby, I should say. A crazy amount a crazy amount so and it's not very easy to grind for these eggs funny enough in summer there's actually a very good grind point so if you don't have the time to do the grinding for um, this hunting quest then you'll still be fine uh, because in summer itself there's actually a node that drops a decent amount of eggs that I remember playing on um, JP when it first came out I remember because a friend of mine was going knee-deep um, for grinding on them. Would you stop doing that? God damn, I swear to god this fandom wiki gets worse every single fucking time I come back to it. Anyway. <laughs> uh, that's it for the video, everyone. It's a lot of saving up. At this point, it's known. The anniversary is on July the 3rd. You have a month to prepare for it. So start getting in your shit now. You have, a, you have until July the 3rd for the anniversary to start. So start grinding on any materials you might want, any leftover SQs, start saying your prayers, start doing whatever. Prepare for the anniversary, because it is coming. And then the event that will be afterwards, I don't know. I really hope it's summer, because I don't want to deal with the, with the comma event right after anniversary. It's like the least fun thing I could think of. <laughs> In terms of the pure height of animation fever, here you go. Here's a real long ass maze to walk through. Nah, no thank you. And chances are, and it actually would be kind of nice to save because I already have comma. So in terms of the actual um, summoning, it doesn't interest me because I already have comma. So I don't need to worry about comma until another year from now when summer comma comes out. Um, but it would be nice for others to kind of save. So, anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, forgive me if I'm a little bit too low, but like I said, everyone else is sleeping, and this is the only time I could record. So, goodbye. Till next time. Peace.